Currently, one of the most significant challenges for Ukraine's counteroffensive lies in Russian minefields, especially in the southern regions. A recent video showcases how Ukraine is dealing with this issue using unmanned systems, particularly drones. In the footage, a Ukrainian drone is observed flying over a cluster of Russian TM-62 anti-tank mines placed along a road. The drone successfully neutralizes the mines by dropping a grenade on them, triggering a controlled explosion that clears the area. Drones have emerged as a preferred method for dealing with visibly concentrated minefields like the one shown in the video. However, the effectiveness of this approach diminishes when the mines are buried or scattered over a larger area. In such cases, specialized mine clearing equipment is essential, as demonstrated in another video. Unfortunately, the availability of such equipment is limited, making it a prime target for enemy forces. The presence of mines hinders the movement of Ukrainian forces, forcing them to follow constrained pathways created by vehicles. This severely limits their maneuverability, making them vulnerable targets under enemy fire. The combination of mines, artillery, and other weapons makes it challenging for Ukrainian troops to disperse and spread out effectively, rendering them mostly static targets. The significance of successful demoning operations becomes evident in these situations, as demonstrated in previous videos. However, Ukraine's capabilities in this regard are greatly limited in terms of both numbers and preparedness compared to the Russian troops. Ukrainian forces employ mine-resistant, ambush-protected vehicles designed with crew survivability in mind. These vehicles offer some hope for the soldiers, as they are better equipped to withstand mine explosions, allowing more personnel to escape harm's way. The close spacing between vehicles seen in the footage serves the purpose of quick evacuation of crews and mounted troops in case of vehicle disablement. The presence of anti-personnel mines further complicates the situation, making it hazardous for infantry to navigate through such areas. Thus, tight formation becomes a necessity to minimize the risk, rather than a poorly executed approach. In a widely circulated video on social media, a Russian surface-to-air missile system is featured launching a 9K331 anti-air missile, targeting a Ukrainian drone. The clip shows the launch site, and as the missile is fired, it becomes evident that it misses the drone. The entire event is clearly captured on camera. Notably, this particular close encounter with missiles was not an isolated incident recently. A Russian social media shared footage of a similar event involving one of their attack helicopters. In this case, the KA-52 helicopter was executing a low-level unguided rocket attack when it came under fire from Ukrainian troops using what appeared to be a shoulder-fired surface-to-air missile system. Although the missile missed its target, the entire incident was captured on camera. Following the missile launch, the KA-52 promptly deployed flares to safeguard itself from potential follow-on launches. The entire sequence was also clearly documented on camera, shedding light on the intensity of the conflict and the tactics employed by both sides. Another intriguing video emerged from the Belgorod region in Russia, where Chechen fighters executed an ambush on a Russian military truck. The entire incident was recorded using helmet cameras, providing a first-hand perspective. The footage suggests that the DRG team set up an ambush and engaged the passing truck with small arms fire. Reports indicate that the truck was supplying Russian troops in Ukraine with Grad missiles. The location of the ambush has been geolocated to a road close to the Ukrainian border. Ukraine recently acknowledged its active military operations in Russia, 
a move that many already suspected. From a military standpoint, taking the fight to the enemy is crucial for success, even on a smaller scale. The video highlights the Chechen's close-range engagement of the truck, leaving little chance for the vehicle to evade the ambush. The individuals seen in the clip are part of the so-called Separate Special Purpose Battalion of the Ministry of Defense of the Chechen Republic. This unit is reportedly associated with the International Legion of Territorial Defense of Ukraine and operates under the main Directorate of Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. They have been actively involved in combat on the Ukrainian side since July 2022, and their roots trace back to the Chechen War. The ambush appeared swift, catching the truck driver off guard, and the Chechens faced minimal resistance. The careful preparation of the ambush is evident in the background, where a team member provided security as they approached the truck. It is likely that such operations within Russia will continue, given the circumstances and motivations behind them. The video, recorded from a helmet camera, provides a first-hand glimpse into this daring and tactically executed operation.